Hello, my name is Simon Reisman. I'm the optical application engineer for Tektronix. And uh, today I show you how our new uh, real-time oscilloscope optical to electrical converters can help you solve your uh, test and measurement needs in the optical space more efficiently. Um, what I'm showing you here is the DPO7 OE1 with 33 gigahertz of bandwidth as well as the DPO7 OE2 with up to 59 gigahertz of bandwidth. Um, they work together on our, our real-time SX platform as well as with our older DX real-time scope platform. Um, they will help you with debugging your signals. The DPO7 OE1 and DPO7 OE2 in combination with our 70 gigahertz SX scope that samples up to 200 giga samples a second allow you to acquire up to five uh, SSPRQ patterns per second. No more headache with PAM4 clock recovery and the need for a source synchronous clock thanks to our software clock recovery. Another great debug capability on our oscilloscopes is the visual trigger. As you can see here, I have a very distinct NRZ pattern with a uh, really long uh, run of highs, with one short low and a long run of highs again. Um, so what happens if this particular pattern is a problem for my device under test? Um, I can actually set visual trigger areas, in this case three, that I have, stay out, have to stay out of. And every time this, this pattern repeats, it will trigger on it and you can save this data and you can actually test your device under test for hours and see how often you violate your condition. So in this case, I can basically single trigger on it and find the same particular pattern, uh, pattern section in my pattern every single time and you can do that only with the visual trigger. All right, another great uh, debug tool on our real-time oscilloscope is the error detection analysis uh, that you can turn on as well in the uh, optical as well as in the electrical domain. Um, so all you need to do is essentially uh, acquire an eye, turn the error analysis on. Um, so this is a marginal eye, as you can see. Uh, it has some problems on the middle eye. And uh, the scope will automatically detect for you how many symbols you have, in this case 30,000, and uh, that there are four symbol errors. And these symbol errors actually are happening directly at this uh, two level. You can see here that the ex actual symbol is supposed to be is a one, but it should be a symbol two level, so it should go higher. And um, so it's essentially like an error detector where you can skip to your errors and find them. It finds for you where in the pattern it is and uh, basically tells you what's wrong with it. So that's another great uh, tool that, that potentially can replace a, a bird. So now you have seen some of the key features that we have that allow you to recover your clock in, a, in, in an easy manner that uh, help you with your debug capabilities. Thank you for watching. If you have uh, any comments or questions, uh, please go on tech.com or give us a ring and uh, we will help you out.